Now you're doing it. Okay. Everybody, welcome to episode number, I don't know, um, but we're doing sushi. This is a, an intimidating episode for me. I think for anybody that's not a sushi chef or has any real experience uh, around sushi. And as a topic of fish, sushi is probably the most vast and intimidating. Sushi in the hands of, of a sushi master is 100% art. Do not hold yourself to that standard. You can do this at home. If you can skin a filet, if you can slice a piece of fish, and if you can make the rice, you can make sushi. It, don't be intimidated. This is a learning process. Just pretend like you invented sushi and this is the first time anybody's ever heard of it and then just have fun with it. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna break down the essentials. But beyond that, this is gonna be a episode about technique and then about quality of fish and quality of ingredients and then it's mostly about eating it, um, which is great. Um, I have a little, don't have sake, but we have some beer, which is a great substitute. <coughs> it's good beer. Hi. Hi. Uh, of course some of you know my name is Pepper. Of course some of you know this is my daughter. What are we doing today? Well, today we are making sushi. Yes. Oh, my rice said it was done. Should we see? This is an exciting thing. So we've cooked it. We do put some sauce on it. This is called zoo. Um, uh, sushi I like zoo. The smell of zoo. Me, of me too. The, the goal is to get the rice cooled down and seasoned um, in a kind of a hasty manner, but gently as well. We're gonna dry paddle the sauce over the rice. So what I'm gonna do now is um, kind of throw the rice against the side of the bowl. And this is going to uh, fan it and cool it and separate it all at the same time. Biggest tip here is don't like chop it and mush it. We're just trying to fan it gently and spread it out. And I'm by no means good at this, <laughs> you guys. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take a wet towel, a wet cotton towel, and um, this is tricky, but what you're gonna do is gather the rice around the bowl and then kind of create a nice little rice ball and set it to the side. So again, I, I'm kind of learning this technique and I've always, every time I do it, I do it a little differently. Let's see if I do it differently this time. And then, eat the leftover. You're gonna put this in a little bowl, set it aside. Um, keep it warm, keep it warmish. Flip it over. If your towel's not wet, can you imagine what's gonna happen? I'll tell you, it's gonna be a sticky nightmare. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna quickly go through the fish species and you're gonna notice right away what's not on here. Tuna. I would put albacore tuna on here. It's something that Sika Salmon shares fishes for, but bluefin tuna is not on here. And bluefin is not a fish that we should be eating. This is a public service announcement. Do not eat bluefin tuna. It is a endangered species that has collapsed because we have overfished it. There are still bluefin tuna to be eaten. Most of them are ranched. That means they're caught from the wild, brought in, in depends and raised like some sort of wild wild west sea cattle um, not good not good for anybody not good for the ecosystem certainly not good for the species don't do bluefin there's too many other incredible fish out there so we broaden this out a little bit especially for our members out there lots of different seafood dungy crab king salmon coho black cod halibut tail it's an extravagant day as you can see in front of me other things we're going to use Cucumber, if you have English cucumber, I highly recommend an English cucumber. I didn't have that, so this will be fine. We're gonna peel that, seed it. Avocado, a pretty great staple. Toasted black sesame, you can do toasted white sesame, it's up to you. Then of course, nori. So this is flattened, dehydrated seaweed. That's gonna be for the maki. And then soy sauce and wasabi is for the side. You also need a uh, mat, a bamboo mat. Aww. And this is gonna be for rolling our maki. Sushi is 90% preparation. I am going to um, cut some small nigiri slices here. I'm gonna do my best with this. We're gonna slice at an angle. You can cut it as thick or as thin as you want, but like I said, this doesn't have to be pretty. And against the grain with this. Oh, I messed that piece up, I better eat it. 
-hmm. Your fish sourcing is 100% key to, nope, 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 nope. When you catch your fish or when their fisherman catches their fish, what needs to happen is an immediate bleeding. Second, an immediate icing. A strong ice bath is gonna drop their temperature. And then third, getting that fish back to its processing plant within 48 hours. After that, incredible technicians with a flay knife and then blast freezing it down to negative 50 in a very short period of time. That's your essential four things for incredible sushi or ceviche or steam fish or poke. So it's not pretty, but it's gonna be good. So we're gonna get this in the fridge and cool before we start making our nigiri and make. So now we're going to uh, peel our, what do you call this thing? Cucumber. Who likes to smell cucumber? I sure do. Me too, smell. Here's the, the sushi trick. Cut your cucumber to be the same length as your nori strips. That way you get one long strip, you don't have to cut a bunch together. We're gonna get ready to roll some maki. The trick that I learned from a sushi chef is to just to roll it over on open flame. Use a knife, use a scissor. I'm gonna cut this in half. There's two sides to your nori. There is a shiny side and there's a more of a matte finish side. That matte finish side is gonna go on the top. You're gonna to want a bowl of water to dip your hands in. Otherwise you're gonna have a sticky mitt of rice and you'll get really uh, frustrated. So you're gonna take about a baseball size worth of rice. Don't mash this into your nori. Gently cover all but maybe the top half to quarter inch of your nori sheet. And as soon as it starts feeling sticky, get your hands wet again. I learned this little tip from my good friend and amazing sushi chef, her name is Koshiki and you take a little grain of rice and you pluck it along the top of that quarter inch or so that you left without rice. That's gonna be a nice sealer for you. And then our spicy salmon roll. So not too much. You're gonna be tempted to pack on as much fish and, and avocado as you can, but you're gonna have a big exploded roll when you're done. And it's rather, it's better, and sushi's about a little finesse. It is, it's about balance, yes. So don't get too crazy with it. Any of you like the shiny side, but funny. Again guys, this is um, not a beauty contest, this is a eating contest. You eat with your eyes, but you can close your eyes and eat this if you want. So you're going to roll it over, you're gonna pull it towards you, not too tight, but just a little. Then you're gonna roll it again, pull it, and you're gonna get that nice seal and push down and across. My dad is real good and then nice. finish that roll out. It doesn't have a little flat. And now you have a nice, perfect little roll. Then you're gonna let it sit and just kind of seal for a second. Okay, now we're gonna make nigiri. With your nigiri, you're gonna make a little pillow. Anybody? You're gonna do a little, a quick pre-shape. So this is this is um, all in the palm in the, in, the, in the feel. Nice wet hands, two fingers. Slight press into your palm, create the, the shape. And then you're going to, if you want, which we do, we're gonna put a little wasabi across the top. You can do this on the fish as well. And we're gonna be gentle with it because we just want to sort of connect the fish with the rice without melting the fat of the fish. Really what this is about is honoring the fish as best as you can. So get a little drop of water on your knife so you have a nice wet blade. And then you're gonna take one fail swoop through your sushi, kind of grab it, get your fingers like a claw and then the knife between them and then slice through. And then again, if it starts sticking, Oops, we're ripping. Wet your knife again.
Okay, you guys, we are... Ready to eat. We did sushi, we did maki, and we did nigiri. And it is as simple as it is complex. You can spend a lifetime mastering this, or you can spend uh, a week or two just having fun with it and getting it to a point where you're comfortable. Bring your family into the kitchen, do this together, right? You love sushi, I love sushi, Cat loves sushi, your family will too. Thank you members for supporting our fishermen and supporting us. That's a symbiotic relationship. We love that, that's just so important right now. Um, thank you to our fishermen out there. Responsibly harvested seafood is the movement of Sika salmon shares. That's it, you guys. We're gonna, we're gonna mow down in this, then we're gonna take a nap, and then we're going to probably eat some more. I'd recommend doing the same, rinse and repeat. If you're not a member and you want to learn more, to go to sickasalmonshares.com. Use the code WILDHOME at checkout for 25 bucks off. Subscribe below, comment below, do what you want. And as always, we don't know what we're going to do next week, but we'll figure it out together. We always do. Thanks so much for tuning in, you guys. Stay wild. Mm. Time to eat? Mm -hmm. Are you ready? I'm gonna dip in soy sauce first. Mommy, stay wild. Time.